Tonight, we're going to show you around Manhattan's Koreatown, a small neighborhood that packs a serious punch. We're going to be joined by a local Korean culture YouTuber who's going to show us the best spots to have the perfect night in K-Town. Talk to the real life. Everybody talk to the South in the inner life. Dave, while neighborhoods like Little Italy and Chinatown get a lot of the attention from tourists, I kind of feel like Koreatown's a bit overshadowed. A lot of people don't think of about this area, and it's definitely one of the places that Korean Americans come to just get a idea of their hometown. It's on 32nd Street from 6th Avenue to Madison, and it's about like two blocks. Currently, there's over 200,000 people of Korean descent that are living in the New York area. And so that is a big amount of people, so to have this representation of K-Town is amazing. Sweet cinnamon punch, Korean traditional beverage. You can get a lot of cool stuff in this store. Have you ever seen such a large kimchi selection anywhere in New York City than right here? No, you will never see anything as big as this unless you're an age mark. It's the first time I've been here, I've really started paying attention to all of like, the different offerings. <laughs> I usually just walk right to the candy in the back. <laughs> What's this, dude? Can you tell? Spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. <laughs> I love this. Korean people love fried chicken. That's like one of the yeah. staples. Fried chicken and beer, so that's okay. the main thing. Soda ice cream? Yeah. Have you ever like taken soda and just froze it and then eat it like a popsicle? I have not. Well, that's kind of what Am I is. missing out? Am I missing out <laughs> on this? You can basically have your own Korean barbecue experience at home, H Mart. It's already seasoned and you can just put it on the grill right away. This one's spicy. Dave, that line is insane. <laughs> Yeah, so H Mart's lines are always pretty long. Like, it, it'll be like out the door usually. Dave, one of your specialties is K pop. Yes. And if you're a K pop fan, Choreo Books is a must visit, right? Yes, absolutely. So you have to come here if you want to get the latest or the most popular K pop songs or albums. To encourage you to buy the physical CD, they'll include like books or they'll include posters or things like that in the CD. And so, you know, this is why it costs $45. So there's literally an entire BTS section it's here. Two shelves, I believe. I, I would say they're the biggest sport band in the world. In Period. Right now. Yeah. Period. If you don't want records or books, there's just a lot of cute little gifts. If you want a cool New York City souvenir that's different, I would oh. recommend this store for stuff like this. <laughs> More BTS yeah, everywhere. No. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't kidding. The craze is really big, right? Yeah. So you buy this thing, you get the songs, and then you get your free poster. Is there any block in New York City that has more karaoke places than 32nd right here? I cannot think of any, but probably not, honestly. And kar karaoke is absolutely essential to Korean culture, right? It's a big, it's definitely a big part of, of Korean culture, and, and a lot of Asian cultures as well. Yeah. It's just like a fun thing to do. It's like a get-together, and people always have fun. See if we do it later, I don't know. I can't sing really well. <laughs> Yoon Hyundai Galbi, we're on 36th. Now, we said that Koreatown was really centered around 32nd, but just a couple blocks away, there's still some amazing spots. I heard a lot about Yoon, and Korean barbecue is definitely one of the best things to do in K Town. It's a little off from the normal strip, but it's definitely yeah. worth the walk. We are the one who invented the Hyundai cut, which is a diamond cut. So, if you go to all the Korean barbecue restaurants, and if you see all these like the cuts like that, that actually was a mention from my father, wow. grandfather. The nice thing about this restaurant is it's definitely a little bit more upscale, so it's a good place for celebrations, for dates, anniversaries. They have amazing cocktails. How do you say cheers in Korean? So uh, it's gunbei. Gunbei. All right, gunbei. So age is very important in Korean culture, right? So. If you're specifically older than someone, you're going with someone who even is underage, if that older person tells you to drink, the younger person has to drink. You're telling me if I tell Ben, who's like 15 years younger than me, to drink, he has to drink. Yeah, he has to drink. All right, Ben, get at it. Let's go. You could imagine this would be a little bit overwhelming if you've never been to Korean barbecue before. Just on this alone, you would probably be full. They don't call these appetites. These are side dishes. It's meant to be eaten with the meats. Yeah. The owner was telling us that the meat they buy is actually from Nebraska because he said that the way they raise the cows out there is similar to the way they raise the cows in Korea. It's very much meant to be a lot of people sharing it at once and it's like a good get together and all that stuff. All right, then you take whatever side dish you want. I'm gonna take a little bit of kimchi. This is like a staple, so you gotta, you gotta do it. And then uh, I'm just gonna put a little seasoning on. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. 
half kimchi, half short rib. Mm, it's amazing. Finally, I learned how to properly eat at a Korean barbecue spot. So thank you, Dave, for actually teaching me some of the intricacies here. In Korean etiquette, it's usually the youngest person is supposed to serve everyone else before they serve themselves, or they'll usually have someone serve the youngest person. Never had kimchi stew before, but <laughs> looks interesting. <laughs> Too spicy, or? I can handle it. I mean, it's fine. Okay, I'm feeling a little heat now, but like something in the back of my throat, you know that feeling like? That was incredible. So good. That was the best Korean barbecue I've ever had. I love this market. I've been here before. I think this is such a hidden gem in K-Town. It doesn't just stop on the first floor, so you'll have the second floor and the third floor. And this is actually a lot more affordable than going out for Korean barbecue if you want something quick and really tasty as well. And pretty authentic too. Two of the uh, Nutella tayakis. So this is called delamanjo. So that is the Korean name. It means South Korean bread fish. And it's basically Japanese inspired. Did you get the Nutella? All the Nutella. I completely <laughs> missed all the Nutella there. <laughs> One more bite. Um, there it is. So how is the bread? Is it? Sweet, soft, sweet, chewy. This is that gold you're looking for right there. Ooh. I think a lot of people don't realize from the street that K-Town actually goes up, that there's karaoke places and bars on the upper levels. You get karaoke, two different floors here. <laughs> Sanitized microphones and a tambourine. You know? You usually see this in karaoke booths, yep. yeah? All the time, yeah. But they also sell Louis thirteen for $9,000 if you're interested. Oh. You have to pour for me because you're younger, right? Because I'm younger, yes. Wow. So, I like these rules. Ooh, that's good. See, that's why it's dangerous, because it doesn't taste that it taste it. Exactly. It barely tastes like alcohol, especially because it's peach flavored. I've had soju before. I need a little more of this to sing. All right, me and Ben. <laughs> Ooh. There's only two ways I will ever do karaoke. One, we need some liquid courage. Two, I have to be with at least one person singing at the same time because then nobody's concentrating on how bad I sound. I can feel the tension. We have cut it with a knife. I know it's more than friendship. I'm so bad. Sweet Caroline. Da, da, da. I also have a Korean course that I am a part of called 90 Day Korean. If you would like to learn a little bit of Korean, John will leave it linked down below and you can check it out. Hope you guys learned a lot. Tell me in the comments what you thought about this tour. I'm really curious. Thank you so much for watching. As always, till next time.